ponder, if you will, the embodiment of the perfect screen lover. Consider, for a moment, the images that are conjured, the feelings that are brought to the surface. Think about the notion of the definitive Latin lover. Now, think about Rudolph Valentino. He has been gone for 75 years, yet his impact, his importance, and his legacy are as strong and vibrant as in his day. We remember him not only for his great contributions to film, but for the joy, the rapture, the beauty of the man, and we will forever. He was born Rodolfo Alfonso Raffaello Pierre Filibert Guglielmi di Valentina d'Antanguola. His parents, Giovanni and Beatrice Guglielmi, welcomed him on May 6, 1895, in the little town of Castellaneta in Italy. He had an older brother, Alberto, and a younger sister, Maria. He attended military school and completed this education at age 15. On December 23, 1913, after a two-week journey, 18-year-old Rudy arrived in New York in search of a better life. Penniless and needing work, he practiced his English and took jobs wherever and whenever he could. After a while, he got a job as a dancer. This eventually led to work in vaudeville and frequent stints as a dance instructor. In 1917, he made his film debut as a dancer in the film Alimony. Rudy's beginning in motion pictures was slow at best featuring several extra appearances and minor roles as, of all things, the villainous heavy. He made the best of the parts he had, however, and with each performance, his strength as an actor grew. His strong showing in a 1920 film called The Eyes of Youth caught the eye of a scenario writer with Metro. June Mathis. This led to the casting of Rudy in the 1921 classic, The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. With the release of this film, the true legend of Valentino was born. The films that followed his initial brush with fame solidified the superstardom that carried him through the rest of his life. Romance, intensity, passion. The images of the career of Rudolph Valentino conjure our deepest emotions and move us still.
the brightest star in the sky, with light that illuminates all it touches, cannot shine indefinitely. At the tender age of 31, Rudolph Valentino passed from this life at 10 minutes past noon on August 23, 1926, after ulcer surgery caused an infection, resulting in fatal endocarditis and septicemia. Tributes poured in from around the globe. Funeral services were held on both coasts and great homage was paid, not only to the career that had so tragically been cut short, but to the man whose very being meant so much to so many. To this day, the thirst for Valentino remains unquenchable. The definition of Latin lover is embodied in Valentino. The youthful vigor of his images and the promise of what might have been solidify his legacy and secure his rightful place in history. He will always remain young he will never grow old. And as long as there are friends who can dream, lovers who can love, and romantics who can long for an ideal, there will be Rudolph Valentino forever. <laughs>